Jesus is the biggest ideological criminal that existed in the cosmos of Africa. <laughs> you know why they are they laugh? Are they laugh when human being, where God create, they see themselves like God. The big difference between a doctor and a pharmacist is that if a doctor makes a mistake while carrying out an operation, he will only kill one person. But if a pharmacist makes a mistake in the formula he's using to manufacture his tablets, he will wipe off millions of people who will consume that, tablet, that tablet. So if you have to choose between a doctor and a pharmacist who is deficient in knowledge based on their mistake abilities, you can see that a doctor is much more manageable than a pharmacist. This is the same difference between a hardened criminal and an ideological criminal. A hardened criminal will kill only one person and be running away for his life. But an ideological criminal will be busy introducing a system or a knowledge that will cause extermination to a particular nation or a clan of people so he does not have gone but through his teachings he's mentoring and converting the whole community into thief jesus is the biggest ideological criminal that existed in the cosmos of africa and you can see his statement making it with his, with his own mouth he says from the day of john the baptist that means from the day john the baptist came and began to make announcements that behold the lamb of god he says the kingdom of this world that we are living on has been suffering violence that means in his introduction lies the division of the world in my coming life separation in my coming life nation rising against nation because any place jesus is introduced the first thing this ministry begins to do the, to the people is to divide the people and to cause chaos in the nation. It says, from the day of my coming into this world, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of the world suffered violence. It says, only the violent men take get it by force. But our own culture was not built on violence. Our own culture was built on peace and unity and truth. Because what truth does, a truth gives verdict, not to the one who is strongest in his power or his energy, but to the one who is sincere and who is, dead, who is very, very sincere in his actions and approach system. So you can now see all the consequences because the Roman, Jesus Christ was a Roman conspiracy fashioned to marshal, to neutralize the law of the Jews and to make them to become vulnerable. And so you can see the Romans giving the Jews what I says, for God so loved the world. That's God is the government of the day of the Europeans. That he gave them his only begotten son. That's the Jesus they abandoned and fashioned to the, to the Jews. I said that whosoever believe, that means those who accept this our bundle the idiot, shall not die. Those who accepted us, those who become royal to us, you shall not be killed. But those who refuse to accept us, or who refuse to accept this our introduction or this our government, shall be killed and they shall not have an everlasting life. And you can see that in the similitude of our democracy today. Any nation they entered and who refuses to accept this democratic government, the person is killed immediately or bundled into prison. But when you accept that government, you will become, you, you, they will not fight against you. They will now start eating you, manipulating you, taking your natural resources, even without your intervention. And I have told people that democracy is a government of land thief. When you want to thief the land of the people, the first thing you do is to introduce democracy to them. Because Abala, Abala, you cannot thief the people's land in their culture. That's why the first constitution of Nigeria is that all land belongs to government. You think you are the owner of your house today because there is no natural resources. If natural resources erupt from your family house, from your own family land, like gold or oil, you will see the, the government immediately declare that they are the owners of that land that you are living on. All the first concern of all Nigerian governments is that all land belongs to the government. And this is, this is why you will understand that democracy is a government of the land thief. So that democracy is what the Romans marshaled to the Jews. And they told them that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe, that means whosoever submits under this democratic government, shall not die, he shall not be killed, but we will be feeding on you. But whosoever refuses to believe, we shall kill you and we shall not have everlasting life. So in the introduction of Jesus, he begins to cause chaos in the system of the world. And you can see the effect of that ideological criminality in Africa today. The most useless people in Africa today has been breeded by the ministry of Jesus. And you can see them in the similitude of our Catholic level fathers. A parent sacrificed both their blood, their life, their money to bet this idiot and to sponsor them to the highest upper level of education. And this our Catholic level fathers vow that they will not reproduce another human being. But the goal of life is procreation. Life is eternity. Eternity means I bet you and you bet another human being. But here is our African parents sacrifice and bet these people and these people subscribe to the ideology of Jesus and refuses to get married. And you can see that this, this, this through only this system has caused extermination to the lineage of people in Africa. There are people who are only son in their, fam in their family house. And when they go to their, uh, uh, their hand, they say, we are not going to marry. 
because we subscribe to the ideology of Jesus who has mentored us that if you want to follow him we must abandon our father and our mother and our brother and our sister and we must follow him so they abandon even their wife and their children so you can say that we raise the greatest number of Ikea because in the history of Igbo land any man who any young man who refuses to marry and reproduce another person is not regarded as a human being the day you the day you die you will not even be given a burial they will just bury you like a dog, a dog. they will bury you that same day because the goal of life is to procreate any man who has not procreated or gave birth have not yet fulfilled the criteria of being a man in Igbo land so we and we robbed our young boys who are supposed to be vibrant and reproducing human beings I will be calling them leveling fathers. They are not leveling fathers, they are just leveling boys. Yes, they are just leveling boys because to be a father means to be to give birth to something. So the leveling, the Catholic leveling boys are busy sabotaging the cultures of Africans because they subscribe to the ideology of an ideological criminal who the Jews notice and put all their energy and strength to kill them. And you can see Jesus introducing all type of ideologies in form of parables. And you can think that this man is giving parable. No, he was not giving parable. He was just talking ideology. And we have explained most of this ideology. We have explained ideology of a sower that went to sow and the enemies came and sowed on his ground. We have explained that one. And you can, I can explain all his ideologies as evil and neutralizing the laws of the Jews. You can see the one he begins to give. He says, a, a man went to sow, and as he was going to sow, some wheat fell on the rocky side, some fell on the sandy side, and some fell on the manure side. You yourself as a human being, you begin to ask yourself, which sower goes to do that? Muabi Hedi. Chaloka or chia, by both rice, I want to go and sow rice. And I will be going and I'll be allowing some of them to fall on the rocky side, some of them fall on the sandy soil, some of them fall on the. Am I stupid? Based on which principle, as a farmer that you are, you allow so many of your properties or many of your rice, wheat you bought with your money to be. This is, this is where you will not. As a farmer, as I'm here, if I carry my rice, I want to go and sow, I will find a minute soil, yes, and pour my soil. I don't use my weed to do my, my food, but I want to sow to do experiments. So I will be going and I will be like, allowing some to fall on the rocky side, allowing some to fall on the sandy soil, then some will be fine. Is that the catalysis of a sower? He is teaching the people lack of management. He is teaching the people to be insane and disorderliness. So, if you understand all this ideology, you now return back to everything he was doing was a fashion... And there is this biggest, one of the biggest ideologies he brought. He says, I, 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 when he I met a blind man, I miss sound, put in his eyes, and he says, what do you see? The man says, I see men like trees. And he missed the sound again, put in his eyes, and say, what do you see? He says, I, I now see clearly. This is just an ideology of an awakened brethren. Some people are awake. Just like that first man who saw men like almond trees. But they don't know how to articulate their message and to dispense their light. So even though they know that this Jesus now is an illusion and fake and does not exist, they lack the requisite way how to express themselves and how to awaken a generation. Until you root their perception again. That's where he was saying that we did the sound the second time so that people can see clearly. People will see clearly when their attention has been solidified and when they have purified, rooted in their understanding. That's why I created a WhatsApp platform where I decided to separate men. In this WhatsApp group, our criteria of registration is that you must bring a Facebook page where you will be preaching this enlightenment. Yes. So I would, we gathered all type of men who are awoken. If you don't have a Facebook platform where you will be preaching this message, is it you are not allowed or qualified to be allowed inside that platform. Because what you want to build is empire of men, galo of dispensation of energy and information. So that men who tap into this frequency of this light, we take it as an onus of responsibility upon their shoulders to dispense the light of the globe of Africa. We want to take over Africa, and the only way we can take over Africa is sensitization of information. Because people have been fed with wrong information for a long time. If you come to our media, television, radio, in fact, in your own market, your door street, your own doorstep, they are carrying their Bibles, marshalling this ideology on you. So if you can retrieve our people, we must reintroduce a system of evangelism. So you want to separate rugged men, just like the bar, the criminal Jesus Christ said, separate for me two criminals. He said, one is Barnabas, one is Paul. Separate them for me so that they can go and catch more fish. Because the goal of them is to catch fish. To bring fish is to catch people out, to bring fish out of their water. So that the fish will die. So anytime they are coming to fish you, that means we want to bring you out of your and your life outside your culture is vulnerability. So we want to separate men in Africa who will go on dispensing this energy to bring more souls. And only these people are allowed in this group. They cry. You don't reach where human beings go they call God names. How this one takes starts? How it takes starts? How this boy take growth to this level of calling God all these names? I take stats.
you they call God uh, uh, idol, you they call God different different names. Mm -hmm. I take stats. This boy no get parents. Is he living alone? Before this boy begin this madness, nobody been there around him to advise him that the person is joking with is the person that gave him life. He's calling God all sort of names. What's your take on what this boy is saying? That God is not real. That God is this. That God is that. Calling God names. What's your take? Jump enter comment section. Make we talk on your own take on what this boy is saying.